I don't understand why you can't tell me anything at all. I mean, surely you could... No, not a relative, but, but I did bring him in. They'll not tell you anything, love. Yes, yes. I've gone to fetch a senior nurse. Your breakfast's getting cold. Oh, hello, yes. Um, hello, sister. I, I was with Mr Gordon when he was admitted. I was told to prepare for the worst. Surely you could tell me if he made it through the night. Thank you very well. Come on, sit down and have your scrambled eggs. I'm not hungry. What is it, Roy? There's something worrying you. <sighs> Maria, if we knew what happened when he... Uh, well, we could meet her from the plane and prepare her. He's very young to die of an heart attack. It happens, Haley, And to people younger than him. We shouldn't have fallen asleep. Clear conscience, see? Just hurry up. I am. I am. Where's me, um... If Ryan finds you... It's not even half six. What healthy, normal teenage lad? You've got to get out. Just take your shirt. Hiya, love. You're bright and early. Knew it. All right? The advice is just new. <clears throat> well, um, Jake didn't want to drive home um, to risk being over the limit. You're over the limit, I'm well over. Uh, hiya, Ben. Did you sleep well? Yeah, thanks. Anyone seen me mobile? Excuse me. Is that it? That's the one. Ta. Goodbye. I'm on my way. Call me. Bye, Jake. Goodbye. You're good for me. Not been this early for work in years. So, this is where you tell me you slept in here? I'm not going to tell you anything. What do we all want for breakfast? Is this the guy you said was creepy? Not creepy. You reported him to the police. I can offer you toast or cereal or both. You said he assaulted you. No one said he assaulted anyone. He kissed me. Oh, well, you've got to invite him into your bed then, haven't you? Ryan! And how many times has this happened to you then? How many guys has your mum kicked out before breakfast? More than ten? Less than ten? Ten? I'm sorry, Ben. Families, eh? I'm just going to get a shower. Well, he's embarrassed. Take a look at yourself, Mum. He's not the only one. I think I'm going to keep him off school today. Oh, Peter, it's a little bump. Stop feeling too guilty. And he's getting a cold. I mean, one day won't hurt, will it? Oh, great. Another lone company turning us down. Yeah? Which one? Let's have a look. Well, you said that one was a certainty. Oh. I oh, know. I'm sorry, love. It's the wrong time to be asking for credit, especially for somewhere like a bar. Oh, there's got to be somebody out there with a bit of cash to invest. Well... I'm seeing somebody today. I, I didn't want to say anything. What's that, somebody? I don't want you getting your hopes up. Come on, tell me. He's an expert in the turf business. Oh, the shop. <laughs> Look at you. Just like a little kid. Yeah, well, I thought it was about the bar. Well, it is. He's going to do a proper valuation on the business, and then maybe we can get a loan if we use the bookies as collateral. Yeah? Do you reckon we can? I don't see why not. It's a thriving business. And you're willing to put it on the line? Oh... I think you're worth the risk. So do you think you'll give us the money, then? Happily throwing it at us. You needn't rush. We're locked out. He's collapsed. Heart attack. Here we go. Another hard luck story about stay. You'll have to get your keys. Tony's in hospital. No. What's wrong with him? Is it serious? Heart attack. Oh, what, a young bloke like him? I had to call Maria. It took me ages to get her. Oh, poor girl. As if she's not had enough trouble. Yeah, she's trying to get a flight home. What happened? I told you, heart attack. Taken off in an ambulance, all that. So, what do we do now? Now, nothing. We just carry on as if we were here. I'll get my keys. Well, hurry up, because it's 20 past. I care. Anyway, in times of crisis, somebody has to take control. As my role as PA. Oh, shut up. Here, Fizz, what is the goss? I mean, how bad is it? Roy said it wasn't looking good. Roy? What's Roy got to do with it? I 
back in a bit. Hey, where do you think you're going? Michelle, no one's told Michelle. She's not a relative. For Maria, not for him. She should have someone to meet her. I wish you'd go upstairs. Try to sleep. I'm not tired. You did everything anyone could have done for Tony. The hospital said so, didn't they? It's not that. Then what is it, love? Deathbed confessions. Hayley, if someone confessed something to you in confidence, would you feel obliged to keep that confidence? Yeah. Well, I, I think so. I mean, I suppose... What? Well, it, it might depend on what the confession was. I mean, I'm not a priest or anything, so... Yeah, yes, yes, of course. All depends on the confession. Right, what is it? You, you're really worrying me now. Well, I don't want to place you in a difficult position. Well, just tell me. I'll treat it however you want me to, I promise. I think he killed Liam Connor. Tony said he killed Liam. You must... That, that can't be right. I killed Liam. But he didn't. It was a hit and run. I know. But a dying man, why would he lie? Well, maybe he just blames himself for the stag night or something. It, he was trying to confess. Well, that, that's what it seemed like to me. Well, before he could say any more, he collapsed again. No, it's just nonsense. Well, well that, that, that's what it sounded like to me. I may be wrong. Well, he was on morphine. You said they gave him morphine, didn't well, you? They did, yes. Yes, yeah. true. Well, that'll be it then. His poor mind were all confused. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. It must be right. Yeah. You could meet her at the airport. Yeah, but then by the time I get there, I could have missed her, so I'll just go straight to the hospital. I could go. No, I don't mind, honestly. She's going to need someone and you've got work. You'll give her my love, won't you? Of course I will, yeah. Yeah, I should get back then. As soon as you know anything. I'll call straight away. <sighs> Bread, milk, prunes. For bananas? Mm -hmm. yeah. Things you run out of midweek. Now, what would you do without us? Uh, forget the toast, have our tea black, and uh, find a cod liver oil. Yeah. Yeah. I need my customers who just once in the blue moon do their whole week shopping in here. Yeah, well, tell Deirdre, not me. I just run the errands and put the bends out. Uh, sorry, would, uh, would you like to go first? Thanks. You'd be waiting for this. Absolutely. You know, I just woke up and I just thought, what well, could eat? You know, all I need is a big fat bill from, uh... I'll wait. No rush. You said, Mr... Yeah, well, you're going to be waiting for a long time. I'm not paying this. You said I did a good job. Yeah, there's no problem with your work. It's just your maths. Now, we agreed a price. That was before your tenant reported me to the plods and had me dragged off. Yeah, but that's because you couldn't behave yourself. Now, I am not paying for your stupidity. Now, first he falls off the roof, then he dangles right off my guttering. Not quite. Right, my tenant saves his miserable life. A bit of an exaggeration. And then, shh, then, as way of thank you, right, he assaults her. She overreacted. Dropped all the charges, but not till I spent half the day in the nick. Mm. My hourly rate. OK, now listen. I am not paying you for time spent at Her Majesty's pleasure. Right? So you take this, uh flight of fancy. Right? And you divide it by two. Half it. I see. Good. This is what you owe me. I'll give you a few hours. Call me when you've got the cash. For your sake, I hope you don't leave it too long. Well, he's... I'm sorry, Ken. Um... Was he threatening you? No, not him, no, no way. No, he's just trying it, trying it on. But uh, I'm more than a match for him, man. Let me tell you that, man. That's it. He's gone. Wouldn't tell me anything. Oh, I told you they wouldn't. So he could be sitting up in bed or on his way home, for all we know. They're dead. Oh, I can't believe that. There's no edge. I tell you what, bring them back. See if you can get in touch with Mortuary. I don't think you should be joking like that. Oh, calm down, you. How would you feel if you 
Oh, I can't even say it. All right, all right. Let's wear black and start scragging just in case. She you know, she's got all the sensitivity of a house brick. Best thing we can do is get back to work and keep his business going for him. Right, right, Julie. Right, if you're not all beavering away in two minutes, I'm going to mark your time cards. Thanks, love. Oh, a day of noise and mess. Oh, I'll clean up after, I promise. Hey, it's Mr and Mrs Noah. <laughs> When's the flood coming, then? The look I've had lately, Bill, any day now, followed by plagues of frogs and boils. Oh, talk about doom and gloom. From now on, it's going to be plain sailing, blue skies and still water. Can't have still waters if you want to sail anywhere. Oh, all right, stillish. No threat to Ellen MacArthur, then. They refitted the Queen Elizabeth quicker than you two on that thing. Yeah, can we book the state cabin for its maiden voyage? If you can find a maiden, I don't see why not. Ooh! Ooh. Meow. <laughs> your little job on your own drive and suddenly everyone's a comic. They won't be laughing when we cross the Atlantic in record time. <laughs> I'll be in touch, but it uh, seems unlikely. But thanks for your time anyway, Mark. Thank you. No problem. Take care, mate. No good. No, I'm sorry, love. <sighs> There's not enough equity in this place to finance a hot dog van, let alone a bar, sorry. There you are. That's that, then. No. Hey, it's a small hurdle. We'll get over it. Oh, right. We're going to walk outside and trip over a pot of gold, aren't we? <sighs> Simon all right? Yeah, he's fine. He's uh, just lost his Nemo DVD. Oh, I think it's at me dad's. Oh, love, come on, cheer up. It's not the end of the world. We'll think of something. No, we won't, because we've tried everything. Banks, loan companies, everything. Nobody wants to know. Hey, I will get you your bar. I promise. How's it going? Oh, fabulous. I don't know whether I'm tea girl, office junior or gopher. Just a reminder. She's got me running that many errands. I feel like I've walked half marathon. This afternoon, fun and frolics at four. As opposed to tears and tantrums at twelve. Sorry. Oh, it's the Sally effect. You know, I need a little wax doll and a load of pins. I'm sorry. I must have slipped into another dimension. A wax doll. Oh, sorry. I've not forgotten the party. I booked an early finish. Oh, that's great. Right. I'll pick you up on the corner of Fire Duck Street, three thirty. She one? Say hello. Long hello. It's in the sequel to that. Long goodbye. Go on then. Have you got me, man? I've got a black eye. Look. I can see. What happened to you? I played a trick on Daddy and I got a bump. Who from? Oh, no one. He just banged his head, that's all. An accident. Daddy says I'm a bruiser. Yeah, and he's got a bit of a cold, so he's got the day off school. Result? <laughs> oh, you are in the wars, aren't you? And I can't find my DVD! It's inside. Come on in. You, uh, you're coming in? You just made a pot of tea. Oh. Look, I, I was wanting a chance to... Look, Leanne... I can't pretend I think this bar of yours is a good idea. Yeah, well, you've made that very clear. Yes, I know, but I've been very rude and unfair and I've said some horrible things. And what about Peter? What about him? Well, I might seem harsh, but uh, I know my son. I know his problems and uh, I care about him. Yeah, and so do I. But I trust him, that's the difference. Yeah, maybe so. Anyway, am I forgiven? Only if you've got biscuits. <laughs> hey, 12.15, I said. It's only ten past. At the third stroke, it will be 12.10 and 20 seconds. Beep, beep, beep. Could, could I have a word with fish? Oh, Roy, what's happened? How is he? I, I, I don't know. Did you manage to call Maria? She's just texted. 
plane's just landed. She's on her way to the hospital. Oh, so how is it, Molly? I, I really don't know. They won't tell me anything. So, so she's going straight there. She's not coming home first. According to this. How was he when you left the hospital? I, I, I don't know. I have to go. So does he look like he's getting any better? I don't know. I, I don't know anything. Well, that sounds bad, doesn't it? For goodness sake, the man said he didn't know anything. How can that be bad? Well, he would say that, wouldn't he? I mean, he don't want to be the... What do you call it? Bearer of bad news. Yeah. She's right. He's done for. Oh, excuse me. I wonder if you can point me towards the I don't the know shop. anything. I'm sorry. I don't care how many years you've been here. Excuse me. Um, you, I'm looking for the betting shop. When exactly were you appointed? I am trusted. I hold the keys. You know what you've got, don't you? St. Peter's complex. The what? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? You don't want to bother with them lot, love. You don't talk to the little people anymore. I'm looking for the bookies. Oh, wrong end at street, mate. Straight on. Over the road. There. Oh, right. Thank you. Um, it's the right one, I suppose. Peter Barlow, is it? Oh, he's the bloke. Just waiting to rob you blind. Oh, really? Oh, are we going for a dinner or what? Yeah, I'm coming. Thank you. So I got problems. Oh, shopkeeper's life is never trouble free. Why? Your roof. That Michelle's roof. Right, it's all done, my friend. It's all done. Now, what can I get you? It's your roof. Uh, we've uh, run out of milk. Milk? Yeah. What a surprise. Well, we've got blue top, green top, red top. We've got half litre, litre or jumbo size. I shall do. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'll blow it on wild luxury. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hey, you're going to be in trouble tonight if it rains. What's that? Your tiles. My tiles? Uh, your lack of tiles. <laughs> you're just trying to judge me, you old rascal. You've got half your roof missing. <laughs> Did you not know? Half my... <laughs> I'm going to kill him. Oh! Oh, that's what you get, you see, when you hire cowboys, trouble at ranch. Yeah, but there was nothing wrong with it, Bill. I mean, like, you know, he fixed Michelle's in me. What in the hell does he think of them? How can he do this to me? Well, shall I call the police? Ah, uh, uh, no, no. You did pay him for Michelle's roof, didn't you? Well, I was going to, you know. I just had a slight issue with his, uh, his prices. His, uh, <laughs> his, the cost oh. is... Oh... <laughs> the hospital. You promised me you'd have a lie down. I, I will, when I get back. You're dead on your feet. It's not as if you can do any good. Yeah, but Maria's on her way. Michelle's with us. She'll look after her. She'll want to know what happened. She'll have all sorts of questions about these last few hours. Hasn't all this upset you enough? I need to see her. Help her if I can. See you later. <laughs> Gail? It is Gail, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's Nightmare on Coronation Street. I borrowed the gear from Bill. So, when do you get the chainsaw? Take no notice, you look lovely. Very Felicity Kendall. Really? <laughs> can we stay and watch? We've got an essay to write on an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah, why not? You can make yourself useful scraping keel. Steel wool's in kitchen. Sorry, allergic to steel wool. Uh, and work. <laughs> Me. Come on, Felicity, let's be having you. <laughs> nope! I don't think you should be kicking a footy around with that cut on your face. I'll kick it, Dad, not head in. Mm -mm. Oh, he's got an answer for everything, him. Look, the thing is, if you're well enough to kick a footy around, you're well enough to go to school, aren't you? Oh, I 
Look at you. When did you turn 70? I know. I try to be grown up, but I'm rubbish at it. Peter Barlow? Uh, yeah, that's me. Hi. Hello. What's this? Day off school? Sorry, uh, what business is that of yours? Are you from education? No, oh, of course he's not from the education. It's the first day Simon's had off school in weeks. Hello, Simon. What's this? What's happened to you? Oh. Think? What do you think you're doing? Don't talk to him, son. We're trying to teach him not to talk to strangers, so I'd appreciate it, mate, if you were... Uh, if you just kept walking. I'm not a stranger. I'm your granddad. <laughs> Come on, thank you. I'll take him home. There's some nappies in his bag and his milk in there and all. Well, if I run out of anything, I'll go over to yours. I've got the key. Okay. You get back to Tony, all right? <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. All right, darling. Oh, right. Oh, I knew you. I thought I'd better. Thank you so much. They said that you did everything right, the doctors. Maria. No, if you'd not been there, if you'd not done your first aid. If only I could have done more. Well, he's doing really well. They can't believe it. That's all down to you, that. Well, yes, uh, of course, it's uh, wonderful. I nearly lost him. Why, I could have lost him. He said you were fantastic. Tony said you were fantastic. Oh, I love you, Roy Cropper. Oh. And Coronation Street continues in half an hour.